Well, welcome back everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic Craft 2 and Jurassic World. Uh, we're over here by the uh, Hilton Hotel, which I still haven't finished, but I will do, uh, because I want to bring a new dinosaur into this episode. Something we left out of our previous world, but was featured in the Jurassic World website and was supposedly on the Cretaceous Cruise. It's the Baryonyx. Now on the last map I was unable to bring it in but this one I will be able to so I've just been sussing it out and having a look. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to port in the uh, cruise area into here so that you know the uh, the landing area and the boat area. I'm going to put it onto here because I've left this purposely now and what I might do is put it around here somewhere and then put a walkway through from over there to use the, the correct area so what I was looking at was along here where we could have the baryonyx now here we need to put the uh, and you can see luckily I've got some high hills and some like lower areas like this one here so I can put some of the herbivores that you saw in the movie around about here and as we go up to the north of the island the uh, Cretaceous cruise uh, carries on round uh, in terms around the back of here look in terms of here and then it sort of comes into this area now what I thought about it's two areas I've got for Cretaceous cruise one is this area here which I thought is not really big enough for the baryonyx because they're quite quite big. Uh, what I thought about is I could actually use the natural contour of this uh, and put it in here. However, uh, little little do people know that there was a planned baryonyx visitor attraction, and there was one picture of the children. Uh, looking through the glass at a baryonyx uh, which you could see the reflection and you could also see the reflection of a sort of enclosure where they were in so I felt that access had to be from the safe side which is this land over here uh, so what we did is I carried on over here and I thought well we can have some more herbivores on there for people to look at and then we came around here and then there was this section here uh, which sort of loops around as you'll see the uh, river will cruise around here so there was this section here where I could put the uh, baryonyx in uh, and then there's an end section which we'll just come over here and have a look at this is where the Cretaceous cruise finishes up uh, so I thought what would be better and you can see where it is over there what would be better whoa high mountains that might be over there yeah that goes off to the north of the island here so in terms of natural barrier I thought I bring the cruise to a finish here then the visitors can come round and come to the baryonyx visitor center uh, which these rocks would uh, basically stop it apart from there's a bit of a gorge here look that's all right yeah and there's this sort of area over here which is pretty flat and pretty open so I could make a baryonyx compound over here and then bring it around here so it meant that it was the end of the river the baryonyx also uh, could be contained because what I could do is because the baryonyx need water uh, we've got some low level water here so it's ideal for the baryonyx to come and come down to the water's edge so if I as you say this really deep bit here wow that goes down if I fence it off and then fence it off across here and round uh, we then got the baryonyx area which would be really really cool so uh, well, first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play around I'm going to port in the uh, Cretaceous cruise dock down by the hotels and I'm going to put the one in on this side using MC edit that is a heck of a hole down there isn't it that is a heck of a hole. That is like it uh, goes down. We yeah. Whoa. It's so high you can't see where you're going. Oh. Ah. Uh, there we go. Alright, it's quite deep anyway. So that's what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna look at the how we access the baryonyx area over here. I think this is gonna be where we're gonna have what we'll have is a vista attraction which is able to see the baryonyx in the water because what a viewing area over here uh, and see the baryonyx and then we can fence this off over here which is again the north 
part of the island but I'm not going to make a massive compound uh, I'm going to make like a, a visitor area where we can do so we shall come back once I put in the uh, put in these the two docks and then we'll see how we build the baryonics area well welcome back everybody and shock horror I've got the piranha I think it's a piranha yeah uh, I can't remember. Did I put any piranhas in this? Uh, did I? Did I? A mega piranha. I, I can't remember whether I put some in the river anyway. I uh, I can't remember at all whether I did. But uh, we've got a mega piranha in here, which is quite good. Uh, we, what I've done is I have ported in uh, the first dock down here, which is just over the back of here. Uh, it makes it quite easy. The fact is, I think this is going to be all right. Yeah. Uh, it actually fits in very well uh, in terms of this. I can sort of ch sort the sand out and lay sand down under here to make it look good. But also the uh, we get rid of this. There we go. There we go. Get rid of that. So this is going to be quite easy to sort out, as you can see, just to make it out, make it all right. So I love this new tree capacitor. Tree capacitator. It's brilliant just hit it once and it takes a whole hour it's so easy uh, as you can see I've got this in here oh that's, that's not got any branches to it uh, so we have put this in here there we go look at that I like this this is good uh, and uh, it fits which is pretty good what I, what I need to just do though is put some sand I love the fact that piranha's there uh, I just need to do bits and pieces here which I can use the uh, world edit to we can make it a bit more natural uh, some of the river is quite uh, narrow uh, but that's fine I'm quite happy with that uh, so that's the dock this end as I say it's gonna be quite easy just to get the uh, just like this here it's just like if I take click. Oh, in fact I should really go down that end and take it out so this is a pathway here as you can see so yeah that's gonna be if I can just take that out and take it right back to the corner over here we should be all right I think that's yeah I think that's it so just go set zero now we can take that that's good because the pathways there leading up and I can take it even further out now uh, where are we the line is there so I could go to there see what happens no oh, silly yeah, so we're taking that out, which is good because it uh, it fits pretty well. Quite happy, really. It fits really well here. So what I'll do is I'm going to do some more work on this, but I wanted to show you how it started out, uh, and then you can. Uh, that's going to be not quite right. Yes, look at that. I just wanted to show you this bit first before we go down and show you how I fitted in the end dock as such. Sorry about my keyboard I'm making loads of noise, but hey, oh, I can do that bit there. There we go, just a bit more here to get rid of, and we're all right. So we've now got a dock here. Uh, what I can cleverly do is sort of make this sort of pathway over to here. I haven't decided because this is where the other hotels are going. Uh, oh, there was a na more natural path. Maybe we can have a path which comes along there and then into the corner there that would make a lot of sense uh, in terms of that so anyway let's go and so so I put some boats in uh, so that's going to be the Cretaceous cruise start uh, what it means is because we're putting the uh, baryonics over the far side it means we can do something else along the way as well so put some other uh, I might have to dig out the channel a bit more because that's too small but that's quite easy to do uh, and then this you can see that I've put some boats in moved them around and spun them around uh, this should actually just go over here if I'm correct uh, I can't remember if this aha here we go so you can see right down there and you can see the high mountains here so this is going to be where we get off to see the Bionics and yet again this actually fits in quite well uh, the one thing I can do now is not I don't need this as high so I can take this out 
uh, and put something else here. So that's pretty good. It actually fits. Very lucky. Fits right into here. Uh, that retaining wall. And then the steps lead up here. So what I've got to do now is actually build the new uh, Vista Center, which should be quite easy to do. Oh, I love this. Uh, and then put some fences up as well. So that gives me a lot of uh, playing in terms of the Vista Center here, which is going to be quite good. And then they can view people will be able to view the Baryonyx. Now what I need to do though, is put some sort of fence in. Uh, so I'm going to have to play around with the fence. Oh, this soil. Maybe that uh, Mega Piranha, I put it in in the old world and it's actually got transferred in when I copied and pasted. That's it. Uh, so this fits in here as well. So that's where you get off. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I think I've actually been very lucky with the way they fit in so that's going to be my next trick what we're just going to do is do a bit of stuff uh, around uh, the boats and the dock and uh, get rid of some of the sort of sand it's just like that in it just a bit more a bit of landscaping but make it a bit more lateral uh, as we go along in fact I might have to cut a bit more out there uh, and I'll probably have to cut a bit more out of this. So I'm going to do a bit of landscaping and put a bit more sand in. Uh, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, and then I shall come back and show you what I've done with this. Uh, what I want to do, first of all, is put the Baryonyx in situ before the end of this episode. We might not finish the building, but at least put the Baryonyx over there. Right, I'll go back and do some more and then she will come back. So what I've done is I've set the path in. I haven't finished it off but I've got the path leading down to the uh, Cretaceous Cruise so that's quite easy to do in terms of we can then add some trees in which is quite easy oh that's my favorite uh, yeah we'll get rid of that so we can actually add some trees in here to make it a bit more interesting yeah we can put some just put some in here and make them go up see so we can sort of deck it out with some different types of trees to make it a bit more interesting until I don't want to put too many in though because I'm not sure what we're going to do over here as well regard the hotels it's almost like going to be a parkland leading down uh, but what I could do is let's have a giant almost one here we'll put one in because we like oh And because I've done that, I said that's one thing you've got to be very careful at when you do the fours. Make sure there's nothing around. Hey, there we go. All right, that's actually quite nice that one. So yeah, I haven't done the path down there yet because I might have to cut some more out to fit the hotels on the side. So, but now we've actually got a reception area here. I just need to put the glass up the pathway all the way up there so what we're going to do is head back over to the other one because I want to put some foundations in for our uh, Vista area for the Baryonyx uh, what I might do though is just chuck a couple in there while we build and it's quite a way so it's going to be quite a good I want to put some more uh, almost put some more dinosaurs here as well yeah we get back up here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit of landscaping around here uh, and then start building the uh, I want to make it come out with I want it like I want a fence that comes across here and I want then to make the visitor area overlooking the Baryonyx but I also want an end bit here where it levels off of the ground so the Baryonyx can walk right up to the visitor area as well leading off the fence so yeah it's quite a, it's what well, i thought it was going to be easy but it's going to be a bit of a bigger build than i expected so i'm going to kick this out start the path up and put the foundations in for the baryonyx viewing area well welcome back guys and girls and oh you can see the map on top right have i got some stuff to show you there's the cretaceous cruise going back to the start point and uh, I didn't do very much with that because I got cracking on the Baryonyx. 
uh, paddock and build so let's go and have a look I've done absolutely loads so it's not finished but we have a paddock well no we got a paddock with holes in it <laughs> so the baryonyx could get out uh, we have got a paddock uh, and we have got the start of the visitor area as you can see here I have gone for uh, very close to the design well inside design I'm trying to replace uh, as before uh, but we'll come back to the fence in a minute because I've used the fence from the Stegosaurus area which is pretty good to have fences but I've got to do a bit of landscaping to make it a bit more of a fantastic paddock but it's pretty big paddock uh, which is what I wanted for the baryonyx but you can see here what I've done is the standard sort of approach to these things uh, I haven't put any fences in so I've just realized the baryonyx could uh, rush out <laughs> so I need to put the metal need to put the uh, almost like these barriers around the base to stop the baryonyx although I could actually just put something at the backs because the baryonyx might want to go underneath but uh, I wouldn't want that because it'd come through the floor right so standard design I've used these pillars eight across eight uh, pillar eight blocks apart all the way through and where we're going across here because I want the main screen windows and I'll show you what the design is I want to be able to overlook the lake this is awesome to uh, see the baryonyx in their natural habitat you'll have loads of uh, options to see them from this particular side and you might feel a lot safer uh, as you saw in the uh, I just posted a picture from the Jurassic World site the baryonyx was supposed to be one of the dinos that we had in it but it wasn't actually there but there is a picture of some kids uh, with the baryonyx uh, reflecting in the light so uh, basically speaking oh I think I'm yeah yeah I'm right here oh no I'm not right at all uh, yeah that's all right yes 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 right okay I just trying to work out what I had and it's not that so I'll have to put the glass in which is basically what I'll have to do is take these out like so put all these back in and I put the steps I'm going to show you the design and then from the outside we put it that way around uh, to sort of offer a bit of lip and then the glass literally goes in now what I want to do is just put some glass here before I put the baryonyx because before the end of this episode we are going to just bring in some baryonyx because they're just so gorgeous I really do like them so let's just put that there and then all we have to do is put uh, that on top of there like that it's dead easy and to there and we must bring this out here because we have the pillars which come up to there and you can see the design here I've used uh, try to keep the traditional design to keep people safe big thick glass the baryonyx isn't going to go in but this is an area where the baryonyx can come and stand and you can watch the baryonyx out of the uh, windows which is pretty cool to say the least uh, and I haven't put the floor in yet but uh, you can see ooh, not that you can see what I'm doing with this which is making it sort of design like that and then we just put that in to finish it off and then I'll put the glass in and we're all right on this side so the barrier on this can't come out through but uh, I'm gonna have to do a bit more before I can make it completely secure uh, so that is that the floor will be the same as in here these are the steps and I've put steps in I haven't put the roof on yet and this is all underground which we won't go and then you come down to here yet again you can watch the baryonics and it looks pretty cool because the fencing is way away so it's quite a good paddock so what we're going to do is and that's that design there oh yeah the roof what I'm doing is because you'll see the color of the baryonyx now I'm doing yellow all the way around the outside and then the green inside to make it a bit brighter uh, and keep those the same uh, so I think what all I'm going to do is in between the pillars I think I might just put some uh, like wire mesh because that'll be quite easy to do to stop them breaking out so let's bring in some baryonyx oh yeah before I do let's just go and tell you about this so this will come up the fence will come that way now what I've done is this is a fence from the stegosaurus paddock that we had uh, and all I did remember I copied one two three four pillars and I copied some angular pillars like over there and over there so I 
point brought them in uh, what I'm going to do is literally now like this here I'm just going to take this out down to a level uh, completely and then put some more trees back in but I'm going to use MC edit because it's quicker but just to show you I could use this and I'm going to set to zero so we'll take that out replace it with some grass so that they can't get out and the paddock is pretty clear uh, to say the least so that'll be the next episode uh, and the certain points of the fence which I need to come and uh, put together like this here where we had a bit of a circular area the fence was there but because I've copied and pasted it and turned it it sort of looks a bit more chunky so it's literally there and then the fence comes along here I need to fill in the holes at the bottom and I need to take rid of some of these trees that are here as well in fact why is that tree there because nothing there and then fill in the dirt to sort of make it a bit prettier all around put some more dirt in here and um, look at this it's quite a good paddock and then put some trees in for the baryonics to go in uh, I've got to sort this out up here which is just put some more stuff in and seal it off so that'll be the next episode where we finish that off I just wanted to show you what we're doing and uh, finish off this build as well and you've got the sunset over there and the sunrise over here and it's really cool at night uh, the moon rises over the uh, paddock area so let's before we go back to main street to add some more people because i've had more people asking for names so we'll finish off the video with that let's bring the baryonics in to show you because they are fantastic yeah there you go before bring i just wanted to show the night time the fact that all the fences are lit up with the redstone light and it looks pretty cool and you can see the moon as well so you could actually see sort of have a sunset uh, with the baryonics and the moon coming up that would be pretty cool uh, but I do like the fact that I put the redstone torches on top of the fences because it clearly can be seen at night so that's well cool right let's bring it in right hopefully we're going to get a couple of uh, baryonics let's go and we'll bring them over here because it's about the safest place for them to come in right let's go come on let's see what we get we look at that oh whoa 75 is that going to eat that no that is the green one isn't that fantastic uh yeah that is well safe the fence is all right so we've got baryonics uh, and they like to be water and fishing let's just bring another one in <gasps> yes we've got the golden one oh that's 25 75 yeah they've got all the all the health back so hey all oh, right let's bring a couple more in there's another green one and what we'll do is bring up uh, show you one up by the glass over here let's bring one up over here by the glass uh that can't get out now let's do that oh, oh, oh look at that that's about the right size for the glass actually in the head i wonder if we can get another gold one no another green one let's get another gold one yes we got another gold one wow look at those i wonder if they actually what we could do is put some mega piranha in here as well uh, let's just put some mega mega piranha yep spawn that in get rid of that let's see do you fancy some mega piranha Heh. in fact if we could change it we could go in there and watch them eat it mega piranha that's quite good we like that uh yeah so there we have it everybody uh, what we're going to do now is head back to main street because i've got to add some new people into uh the area so we'll go across there well welcome back everybody i have had to put a load of you in but first of all let's come down to another special jurassic craft person who has just left the team gtg hawk 137 I spoke to you on a number of occasions but someone said of course give me a username and you are in uh, i love this on the back that is fantastic yeah i love that uh, so you're all in there but look at that big line down here oh my word there are so many so let's show you all you're all in i'm going to try it out we seem to be getting good frame rates uh, and somebody pointed out that i can go in and click people and make them go further afield but once i set these people free i think they're going to be walking around so let's show you cody rex 
78. Uh, Raptor Whisperer. Yeah, it looks like a friend of mine called Rolo. Uh, camo. I've put a camo. So for people who didn't have a skin, I put some skins on. And of course, because your name was Camo, I put you in a camo skin. Uh, Blobfish 2002. Uh, Julian uh, Vale Valeco Valeco Valeco. Uh, I know you haven't got skin, but I put you as a, as a sort of uh, a red person, <laughs> a red coated. Oh, it's a fireman, I think. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, Heli Trooper. Like that skin. That's well cool. That is. Yeah, I love that. Uh, you didn't have a skin, so I put you in as a bit of a uh, sort of uh, Star Warsy type uh, trooper thingy, because you've got that as an emblem. Uh, Navy Seal 54X. There you are. Uh, uh, Big Ganon O2. Yeah, and there we go. An exclusive Penguin Nickelodeon guy. I just brought a skin in for you. I want to keep Britain once. So there you go, Nickelodeon guy. Dragon Golden Wing. I like that. That is well cool. Love the hair. Uh, hmm, yeah, there you go. That's well cool. Love the eye as well. Uh, Austin Moon 09. Wow. Uh, Albert KP. Did I put Albert KP? I did. There you go, Albert. Well done. Love the cap. Uh, somebody else is I added a skin. You need to go away because you're coming to talk to people. Go away. Go away. Uh, Spino the great uh, because I put your know, colorful skin because of the uh, Spinosaurus uh, you go away as well go away go away go on these people come to see hello see uh, tractor boy 23 I love that skin really bright yeah that's cool uh, hey Jurassic Crast you need Jurassic Unicast you're always getting in there boy go and check out their podcast they have some fascinating podcast oh look someone's gone to the restaurant uh, go and check him out. Uh, just put Jurassic Unicast in YouTube and you'll come across them. Uh, Shohin, Shohin 13. Wow, that looks like a zombie type, but cool. Uh, Kog 09. Uh, this Nickelodeon wants to come in. They're all coming to say who else? Uh, EJM, GJKMC, you're in. Uh, right, go away, you lot. Go on, they're all going to be wanting to speak to you. Oh, he's still there. Go away, go away. Come, come back here. Go, 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 go. Right, I want to show you. Uh, the I am reptilians. Reptilians, right? Geek fanboy. Where are you? There you go. The, yeah, just put you as a cop. That's cool. Yeah, cool like that. Uh, Dinotopia. Look at this. Look at this skin. Look at this. It's got like its own like uh, uh, spines on the back. Well, cool. Uh, and someone else here. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go on. That's it. Go away. Uh, this is an oh Mike Elega Mike Elge XP. We've got William Anderson. I had to put a skin on for you, William. Uh, and I love this one. Christmas is coming. Play fire. That is a good Christmas one. I think I'll get a Christmas skin. Uh, Grey Raptor. Love this. Love the skin. Uh, yeah, that's well cool. Uh, Shield X. Shield X. One of the last people to get in. Uh, oh, look at this exploding creeper. Look at that. Love it. That is truly fantastic. I love that skin. Uh, and Joseph BPH1234. We got Fleet Up. <laughs> Look at that. What's that? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. Love that. And last but not least, just made it in 23 seconds ago. Just made a comment on my tube. Thank you very much. It's Silla Salosa. I love those eyes. Yeah. So there we go. Right. What I'm going to do is in between now and next episode. In fact, I'll do it now. I'm just going to let these people all loose. Uh, but there you have it. Thank you very much indeed for watching this episode. We're going to get back to the Baryonyx next time. And then I need to go and finish off something I started last time. But I wanted to do something new and that's why I brought the Baryonyx in. Right. Thank you very much again. Uh, basically, I'm going to stop adding people as often. Uh, so please uh, slow down with the names. I just can't keep up with them. Uh, but I've got everybody's name from the two videos uh, that I've put recently. So that's plenty of you. So that's really cool. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, bye bye for now. Please like and please sub if you're new to this channel. Loads more dinosaur episodes to come.